Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of an osteochondroma, and this is sometimes also known as an exostosis. This is a tumor, which is benign, which usually protrudes from the metaphyseal aspect of long bones in a mushroom-like manner. So we can see here the head, and there's a stalk here. And this tumor is usually covered with a cartilage cap. We can see this blue-gray area of cartilage over the head of the tumor. And overlying this is this pink layer of fibrous perichondrium. The bony trabeculae within this tumor and the stalk are actually in continuity with that of the long bone from which it arises. Let's take a closer look at the cartilage cap. We can see here that this is hyaline cartilage and there are chondrocytes which are sitting in these little empty looking spaces and there's the chondrocyte right in the middle and these chondrocytes don't show significant proliferation or cytologic atypia. So we're looking at mature hyaline cartilage and overlying this hyaline cartilage are these thick fibrous bands and this forms the perichondrium. Within the tumour itself, we can see these mature bony trabeculae. And again, the osteocytes have very small, uniform, blend-appearing nuclei. And in between this, we can see adipose tissue. Sometimes, hematopoietic marrow elements may also be seen. Osteochondromas can be solitary, or they can be multiple and arise in the setting of multiple hereditary exostosis. And in the latter case, these tumors have a higher risk of malignant transformation. And usually when there is malignant transformation, it is the cartilage cap that becomes thick and proliferative and becomes most often low-grade chondrosarcoma. And some of the clues to this is marked thickening of the cartilaginous cap. So in summary, this is an osteochondroma, which is also known as a bony exostosis. We have a stalk and we have a mushroom-like head of the lesion. It is covered by mature hyaline cartilage, which in turn is covered by fibrous perichondrium. And within it, we can see trabecular bone. And you can interact with gross virtual specimens of an osteochondroma through our free online web resource, PathWeb. Here is the musculoskeletal chapter in our Virtual Pathology Museum. And this is the osteochondroma, which I'm just going to demonstrate quickly to you. So here is a fully interactive specimen, which you can magnify and also view the labels too. And as you scroll down, there are examples of gross images and also microscopic pictures and talking pots and talking slides, just like this current video. Registration is free and the link is in the video description. Thank you.